Welcome back to another episode of Fab Talk. It's your boy Rico Flo. You already know we're here with my special guest, Vivo. Mm-hmm. And Santurce just opened up this really crazy nice spot here in the street called Santurce Social. They got new music every single day, different days of the week. We got bomba. We got uh, house music. We got reggaeton, a little bit of everything. And just the atmosphere here is just phenomenal. I just would like to introduce you guys to my boy Vivo. would like to tell us a little bit more about yourself and where you're from. Uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, I'm Puerto Rican, Yo soy Boricua, uh, my family's from the area right here, um, I grew up in the States, uh, being the youngest sibling, um, you know, grew up coming out here my whole life since I'm born, holidays, summers, you know, uh, my father made sure that I knew where we from and, you know, got to, I got to know the geographics as a kid, so, yeah. When I finally moved here permanently, you know, I had already knew my way around, uh, you know, and uh, I uh, decided to move back. Um, and uh, my grandparents' home had been abandoned for about 11 years, and uh, that's the house that we always stayed in. And it kind of just broke my heart to see it in the, the condition that condition, it was in. So yeah. I said, man, fuck it. I was living in Hawaii at the time. And I decided to come back home and uh, rebuild the house, make it my home. So, you know, it's next in line. And, uh, you know, I'm proud to have uh, done that. Yeah. And, uh, look, what, look what you accomplished now. It's just, it's so an, this now space is here, amazing. You know, in La Quince. In La Quince. The corner of uh, Fernandez Juncos and Ernesto Serra. The corner that my father was born, my grandparents yeah. lived, where they, were, they, where they got married, my, gra- my great-grandmother. My great great grandmother. So now I'm like uh, the fifth generation of my family here in this in this spot. This is your and, spot. This is uh, your area. Yeah. You know. So uh, you know, I have a lot of uh, I have the ancestors on my side. They're making a lot of things happen for me in the background. And uh, you know, we're here. I just put my heart and soul into building this place. Um, you know, I wanted to do this for the culture. For for. Santurce. I wanted to keep it, uh, keep the tradition going, keep our, you know, um, our culture alive and well. You know, this is the the, uh, the area is changing very the fast. Gentrification is insane. Um, being as, uh, like I said before, I lived in Hawaii and I, I you know, I lived with Hawaiians. I, um, you know, I, I I became a local there. I I, I, I witnessed their struggles firsthand. Yeah. So moving back to the island here, um, there was something I had to do, you yeah. know, because uh, you know I watched the Hawaiian culture. You know, they they they, they lost a, a lot. A lot. Know, it's becoming, been gentrified. Uh, becoming so much. a state, you know, yeah. and uh, I know what would happen here if uh, it's already started, I don't man. Know, we should be talking politics, but anyway, this no, is, but uh, it's, it's already happening. No, it's just generalized. You know. I want to do something uh, to make sure that we have a place yeah. where, you know, we can continue to grow together and we can showcase uh, all the talents that we have here locally, uh, whether it's musically, artistically, graphically, um, culinary, whatever it is. So that's that's the mission of Santurce Social is to showcase, uh, keep our traditions alive, and at the same time, advance together and and show what's up and coming what's new how things are changing um and uh you know just put the spotlight on Los on, what, on what we have here yeah, yeah just put so. a spotlight on us because it's amazing like all of you accomplished so like moving to hawaii has that had any influence on you in the aspect of like because i know you're you're an artist you're a graffiti artist did you have any influence uh, when you moved out there that has uh, intertwined with your your own uh, business here? Uh, well, you know, it definitely changed me as a person. You know, when you travel and you experience, uh, you know, ways of different ways of life and, and experience different cultures and foods and, and whatnot, um, you know, definitely uh, Hawaii, <coughs> excuse me, has... Um, I left a different person for sure. You know, I, my views on things were differently were different, uh, and uh, definitely made me. Uh, you know, it's a one of the things that made me who I am today. You know, as far as uh, 
you know, graffiti, Hawaii also has a very, uh, it's a very diverse place. Very more, diverse. More so than Puerto Rico uh, because you have so many different Asian cultures and Pacific Island cultures, um, you know, that make up Hawaii, whereas the native Hawaiians are more of, uh, diluted and diminishing, um, you know, they suffer the most on their own island, island. on their own, you know. And we're starting islands. to get a taste of it here. You know, they live on the furthest corners. They have to go the furthest to get to where yeah. they're the poorest. They have the most drug addiction, the most homelessness. Uh, they hardly speak their language anymore. You know, they have to send their kids to private charter schools, which mm. they can't afford to relearn the language. Their culture is exploited for tourism, uh, you know, for entertaining outsiders. Exactly, you know, where, yeah. Where, you know the luau is, is selling the hawaiian the luau dream is for tourists you know yeah. it's not, you know it's not you know so uh you know I, I i took what i what i received there back here and uh you know i just uh, i felt like i saw the future for puerto rico there so it wasn't something that i was happy about yeah because like 10 years ago when i was growing up out here Puerto Rico literally looks like night and day. The difference between what it was and to what it is now is actually uh, insane. Yeah, I've, I've, I mean, even growing up coming here, even moving here over six years ago, um, I watched it change so fast. So it was important that I grabbed a place where, yeah, you know, <clears throat> I can do, uh, you know, I can get creative with and designing, and but with the right purpose. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so here we are. You know, mm -hmm. we just opened. Uh, this is, uh, we've been open about three weeks. Um, tonight we have live music. On Wednesdays we do. Uh, it's called Miocoles de Cultura. So we started out with rumba, with uh, Beto and La Liga Rumberas. Yeah. Uh, followed by uh, Bomba last Wednesday. The Bomba goes Louisa. crazy. Yeah. Uh, we had Gato, Ayala. And, you got that uh, house party uh, coming up Negrito soon, too. Negrito de la L. Yeah. The kids from Loisa that are doing Bomba nowadays are just... Phenomenal. They're pushing it. Yeah. And, you know, it's it's real, so... So what are your... Uh, your uh, don't mean to cut you off, but, like, what are your goals in the next... Like, what do you see your, yourself as a business and as a business owner doing in the next five years? So... You know, I'm planning to have a successful bar here. Um, I, I feel like once people catch on and they see the concept and they realize what I'm doing, you know, so far, you know, I've been involved with the community here. Um, everybody here loves the place. Yeah. They know my, my family's originally from here. Um, and, you know, I've, I've had them help me build this place. You know, people that live right here in the area that know construction. They, yeah, y'all put know, up. I've hired them. You know, I yeah. gave people jobs here. So this was all built by local hands, um, local artists. You know, people I know, Ski, who's, yeah. you know, a legendary artist here from Puerto Rico. Who did Spear, this one? Spear. another amazing guy. Um, we have uh, the young and talented Andres Cortez from Culebra, Culebra, who's killing it right now, only 21 years old. And over here on this side, we have uh, Alexi from uh, Instituto de, de Subcultura. Uh, he's got the gallery around the street, yeah. uh, around the corner. Another friend of mine who, who uh, you know, so right now we're working on finishing up the kitchen so we can serve some food in another week or two. Oh, that's gonna be good. I'm going to be coming uh, here for sure. We have an outdoor sure. patio space that we're, you know, Y'all just finished the piece back there too? Who did that? Yeah, that was Ski. That was Ski? The amazing Ski. That yeah, shit was that shit amazing, man. Hey, shout out Ski. Yeah, that, yeah. That's an amazing piece uh -huh. too. Shout out all the artists and everybody that's been able to make this come, this, this, vision of yours come to, to like fruition like this is this is real now this yeah. is a tangible thing you're you're creating a movement for the people of puerto rico and giving us a, a space that we feel at home and not like we're being forced out essentially and just yeah, revitalizing definitely the didn't area. Wanna have that uh you know i wanted it to be a little intricate just because um you know being an artist myself and uh having an eye for a little you know for design um I wanted to go all out, you know, I wanted to gather whatever resources I have, just put it all here so that you could see the difference, you know, when, you know, I put a lot of sweat, I put uh, a lot of restless days and nights into this to, to get it built, um, 
And uh, I mean, I, I uh, you know, I'm planning to succeed. I'm branding. I'm, you know, I'm able to create now off of this uh, merchandise and do artist collaborations mm -hmm. with, uh, you know, local artists, local artisans, and, and I'm looking forward to uh, to what's to come. Yeah, there's, know, a, there's a lot. Space. There's a lot. You already you already got the car in gear. You just got to put the put the gas, all gas, no brakes. You know That's what I'm right. saying? Yep. You know, so like, um, like for like any of, any of the younger like folk, like I, I'm a young entrepreneur aspiring to be something big. What's something that has been like your hardship and how you're able to overcome it? Like some advice for us to like be able to make this you know, come you true. You gotta do things with a purpose. Um, uh, let that purpose drive you. You know, um, don't give up on yourself ever. You're gonna deal with adversity. You're gonna deal with negative people. You're gonna deal with people that don't want to see you win. It's gonna be people close to you. You know, it's, there's gonna be a lot of people that don't believe in you. I've been through all this. You know, I've always I've always had people doubt me, and I always prove them wrong every time. You know, you just gotta you gotta believe in yourself. No one else is gonna believe in you except yourself. Except yourself. That's where it's gonna start. And once you start tasting success, then everybody's gonna come around. Everybody's gonna act like they know you. Mm -hmm. Everybody's gonna act like they down with you. You know, people are gonna start seeing what you could do for them. But you know what? You do what's right in your heart. You know, don't be a dummy. Don't be a fool. <laughs> you know. Uh, but you know, that's, that's what I gotta say. You, know? you find I'll out be really about, quick. Be about something. Have purpose, and uh, you know, uh, just always work. Keep working on your craft, whatever it may be. And uh, you know. Yeah. Just keep just okay, keep on man. pushing through. Keep just. Pushing. Man, like I really appreciate you all, like all that you've been able to talk to me and just share the information that you have and inviting me in your 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 space. It's just, it's such a beautiful spot. I can't wait to be able for all of us to be able to come back and look at, look at the, the growth that you all have been able to accomplish over the years, over the months. You know, y'all need to be sure to come and check them out. Yo, they have so many events. I'm gonna be linking all of their info, all of their links in the description. Be sure to show some love. Don't be a stranger. Bro, this is your home. This is us. PR, San Thursa area. This is boy Rico Flo, and this is my boy. Rico. You already know. We out. We're doing a part two of this shit. Shut up. We're going to do a part.